A professional decorator uh, needs different qualities to be good at their job. They need to be practically minded, um, patient, resilient, obviously good by their hands, have an eye for detail. Customer service is very important, but uh, one of the most important ones is also knowing your tools. I decided to become a painter and decorator uh, after uh, being at school, uh, where I initially I didn't really know what I, what I wanted to do, um, but the, the school sent me to college a few days a week on a construction course, where I learned about a range of different trades. Uh, and I found out that I was particularly good at decorating. I had the patience for it, which was, was quite nice. And uh, what underlined it for me was uh, the tutor uh, at the college said that I was particularly good at it and I had a knack for it. So then I had decided that that's what I was going to do. I was going to become a painter and decorator. And I started my apprenticeship. As an apprentice, I found that uh, working in a range of different environments as well, some that I didn't want to work in, such as in the ship industry. Uh, I worked on painting ships for a while and I used to get very dirty uh, and messy, covered in oil at nights and uh, you know, wondered if it would come off. But um, what I did learn is that, that this, this job will bring you into a variety of different situations and, and provide you with a set of challenges. You know, not every day, but uh, most of the time. The challenges that the painting and decorating industry faces is, I think at the moment, a shortage of painters and decorators. So there's a, a variety of different types of quality available in the, in, in the work. Being a member of something like the Painting and Decorating Association, if you, if you like, rubber stamps the quality that you are expected to provide and will provide to customers and also gives them a peace of mind. Uh, over the years, I've, I've used a range of different tools. Um, you, you do get to know ones that are of good quality and that are not of such good quality. The price that you'll pay for them sometimes doesn't bear in terms of how, what finish you actually need to get from them. The, the brushes that we use are very good because not only are they, do they give you a good finish, they last a long time. Um, so you get what you pay for. The customers that I've had that I've used Purdy brushes have been very happy uh, with the finish and, and I've been very happy to say with handling the brush, feeling confident that what I'm painting is going to paint well. You might be working with something that hasn't been painted for quite a few years. But when you finish the job and you look at it and you think to yourself, I've done that, that gives you a sense of pride.